There's something about big waves that makes us want to sit back and let the awe wash over us, so to speak, as nature makes its awesome power known for all to see. That is, unless you're a particular brand of surfer. Then there's something about them that inexplicably makes you want to grab your board, hop into the water, and attempt to cheat death. There are plenty of places all around the globe renowned for the frequent recurrence of huge, terrifying waves of the sort that only the most skilled, brave, and downright crazy surfers are able to navigate. But even they would draw the line at some of the truly gargantuan swells we'll be looking at today. Yes, some of these incredible waves have actually been surfed, but others wouldn't be attempted by Poseidon himself. Whether they were caused by man-made explosions, natural disasters, or simply the forces of the ocean, they're proof that bigger isn't always better, especially when you're talking about the walls of water with enough power to capsize ocean liners or level entire towns. Let's check out the top 10 biggest waves ever captured on camera. On May 16, 1958, the U.S. conducted a test of nuclear weapons codenamed WAHOO, an open ocean test which took place in the middle of the Pacific. The purpose of the test was to determine the effects that an underwater nuclear explosion would have on vessels such as Navy ships, and Department of Defense officials, along with a few filmmakers who were there to document the test, watched the proceedings from the small island from which the missiles were launched. A cargo ship was situated two and a half miles from Ground Zero. Just imagine being aboard the vessel when this happened. The enormous plume of water which shot over 800 feet into the sky completely engulfed the ship, which sustained enough damage from the shockwave so as to render it immobile. On the island, camera crews watched in concern as the waves started to roll in. The first one not so high, the second substantially higher. As they scrambled for the safety of nearby treetops, the third wave came in and covered the entire island. The waters receded shortly thereafter, but it's safe to say that the men tasked with recording this event just might have had to fight the urge to panic for a moment or two. Or three. In January 2013, professional big wave surfer Garrett McNamara was looking to break his own record for the biggest wave ever surfed, a whopping 78 feet, officially a world record. He was scouting off the coast of Nazaré, Portugal, where he had set his previous record, and his instincts paid off. He was towed by a jet ski into the rising swell of what would become an absolute monster of a wave, an estimated 100 feet high. And not only did he come out of the attempt alive, he managed to stay on his board nearly the entire time. The video of his record-shattering feat just gets more terrifying the longer it goes on. McNamara is first precariously perched atop the enormous swell, then he successfully rides one of the biggest rip curls you'll ever see, which comes crashing down on him with what can only be massive force. Amazingly, he stays upright and rides out of the wave even as an insane wall of spray chases him onto the beach. In an interview with Surf Channel TV Network, McNamara said of watching his performance on video, Sometimes I look at it and go, it's not that big at all. And other times I look at it and go, wow, when you're in the water looking at this wave, it seems a lot bigger. Disappointingly, McNamara's insane feat was never officially verified by Guinness, meaning that his record of 78 feet was the only one officially recognized until 2018. That's when Brazilian big wave surfer Rodrigo Coxa notched his place in the record books by catching an 80-foot wave off the same coast in Portugal, where the previous record had been set. In the clip, Coxa looks positively serene as he glides out ahead of the mountain of spray. But don't let this fool you. This sport, and particularly the waves at Nazaré, are as dangerous as it gets. In 2017, British surfer Andrew Cotton fractured his back in pursuit of this record in the same area. And while he has made a full recovery, the incident serves as a stern warning to any would-be record holders who dare to surf Nazaré. As an island nation in an area prone to large destructive earthquakes, Japan is a world leader in earthquake preparedness. But when coupled with the explosive force of a tsunami, there are times when no amount of preparation can avert disaster. In 2011, a quake measuring 9.0 on the Richter scale struck off the coast of Japan, only about 40 miles east of the Oshika Peninsula. And even more than the quake, it was the resulting deadly tsunami waves that resulted in wholesale loss of life and property. The most powerful earthquake ever recorded in the history of Japan produced killer waves over 130 feet high, which swept through the city of Miyako and traveled up to six miles inland. As you can see in this jaw-dropping clip, entire villages were simply washed away in the blink of an eye, and to this day there are thousands of people who are still unaccounted for. Thousands were injured, thousands more killed, and the meltdown at the Fukushima nuclear power plant was also a direct result of the tsunami. The World Bank estimated that between the quake and the tsunami, $235 billion in damage was done, more than has ever been caused by any natural disaster in history. Some of the clips which you can find online documenting the battles between puny humans and giant waves don't come with a lot of accompanying information, but you don't need a whole lot of context in order to feel the visceral terror. 
For instance, just take a look at this clip and imagine that it's you up there in the crow's nest, only able to watch helplessly as this Godzilla-sized wave approaches your vessel, and then only able to hang on for dear life as it tosses your full-size ocean liner about like a toy boat in a bathtub. As you can see, the camera, which appears to be positioned a healthy distance above the surface of the ocean, is completely submerged for several seconds, until the wave mercifully recedes, somehow leaving the ship still afloat. If you've ever doubted the bravery of those who sail the open seas, you can safely put those doubts to rest now. And if you're still not convinced, well, just keep watching. The North Sea, situated between the United Kingdom and the Scandinavian countries, is a famously rough place for vessels of any kind. Navigating the area can be especially treacherous for smaller vessels, like this one, which appears to come very close to being capsized as this monstrous wave comes crashing over the hull of the ship. Of course, ocean-faring vessels are designed to withstand the punishing conditions and huge swells of the open sea, but there's no amount of ingenuity that can make up for the unpredictable volatility of Mother Nature 100% of the time. And make no mistake, when it comes to swells of this size, the danger is very real. According to a 2013 analysis by a major shipping insurer, fully 94 ships were completely lost that year, and by some estimates, roughly two dozen ships per year simply vanished beneath the waves, never to be seen again. As big waves go, this certainly isn't close to the biggest one on our list, but this clip was shot from the relative safety of the shore, not out on the open sea. It's not every day that a simple storm produces the type of waves which can come up on shore to engulf entire vehicles, but that's exactly what happened in Cape Town, South Africa one stormy day. Incredibly, near the beginning of the clip, a man can be seen riding his bike through the exact area that takes a pummeling mere seconds later. As our unseen videographer shoots from what they think is a safe distance, a huge freak wave unexpectedly comes crashing over the beach, swamping the entire immediate area. It's a good thing the guy on the bike got out of the area when he did. But then, watch closely at the end of the clip. Another man can be seen near the railing separating the beach from the street, just standing there. Perhaps he's seen worse. Perhaps he's on some kind of mind-altering substance. Or maybe, just maybe, we're looking at Aquaman. In 2016, musician Stephen Burke posted a clip to YouTube that has since garnered over 12 million views. In introductory text, he explains that he has a regular gig playing music on cruise ships, which ordinarily means a lot of smooth waters and amazing scenery. But in February 2016, while aboard the cruise ship Anthem of the Seas, things suddenly got scary as the ship sailed into the middle of a brutal storm. The pleasure cruise had turned into a battle with 120 mile per hour gusting winds and giant crushing waves, which rose up above his eye level as he shot video, even though his room was on the third deck of the ship. The window of his room even becomes intermittently submerged, which somehow prompts giggles from Burke and his friends instead of shrieks of terror. Later in the clip, the pair demonstrate the crazy angle at which the ship was being pitched by simply walking down the hall. And in the video's climax, their third deck window is submerged so completely that it renders their room completely dark. It could be that these guys' laughter was simply a coping mechanism to mask their fear. Either that or these are the bravest musicians the world has ever known. If you're curious as to what a cruise ship under assault from the ocean would look like from a third-person vantage point, look no further than this clip, shot from a helicopter, as the ocean very nearly takes down a full-size luxury liner. As the cameras roll, the copter's crew stay remarkably silent, probably because they thought they were about to record the deaths of everybody aboard the vessel. One can only imagine the sheer panic of being a passenger on this liner, as the ship is repeatedly rocked by the merciless oncoming waves, and pitched at angles which look for all the world like they must exceed the vessel's tipping point. Incredibly, the ship manages to stay afloat, but it's still safe to say that this is likely the last cruise any of its passengers ever embarked on. Believe it or not, there are many cruise lines which operate in the Antarctic, for those who have had enough of calm seas and sunny weather. In 2010, the cruise vessel Clelia II was navigating its scheduled route when rough weather caused it to lose power to one of its engines. As the wounded ship attempted to limp into the nearest port, the weather intensified, and the ship, along with its 160 passengers and crew, found itself fighting just to stay above the waves. The ship put out a distress call and was accompanied to port by a naval vessel, from which this video was shot. Against all odds, the vessel made it to safety, giving its passengers an experience they'll never forget and leaving the captain confounded. He would later tell the media that in over 150 trips sailing similar routes, he had never seen weather even approaching this storm's intensity.